and what is up gang developers? Last week, we learned how to make our own augmented reality application and with this technology, we created the moving pictures from Harry Potter's in augmented reality. In today's video, I wanted to give you a little bonus and I will show you how you can quickly implement this 3D portrait using the same technology. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we are back inside the project from last episode. I'm going to create a new scene by right clicking on the project window and under create, we can click on scene. Now we will do exactly the same as in the last video, which is removing the main camera and adding the AR camera by Vuforia. To do that, we can right click on the hierarchy windows, Vuforia, then AR camera. I will do the same, but this time I will select the image target. Okay, so you can see that by default, it's the Shia Labeouf image that we have imported from last video that is used, but I will change it to the astronaut pictures because I've already have one printed. And if you want to learn how to add a custom image target, go check the previous augmented reality video that I've made. And everything is now set. All the game object that we will put as a child of this image will appear in augmented reality when the image is found by the phone or the webcam. We will now create the 3D portrait and for that we will need two assets. The first one will be a 3D character. You can find some that are free by going in the asset store inside Unity. Then on the top left corner choose characters. There, you will have an amazing choice of awesome 3D characters that you can use for all of your projects. In my case, I will be using this 3D knight that I will download in my projects by clicking on the import button. Okay, so the second asset that we need is a painting frame. You can download this one from the asset store which is free and click on import like we did earlier. Perfect, now that we have our assets, we can put them in our scene. For the night, go in the night folder, then prefab, and you can drag the night prefab game object into the hierarchy windows. And we will do the same with the painting frame in the classic picture frame folder with the picture prefab. Okay, so here is where the magic happens. To make it feel like the night is in the painting frame, the painting frame must mask the night. For a 2D object, masking is easy in Unity using the built-in mask component, but for a 3D model, it becomes a bit harder. For masking a 3D object, we'll need a stencil shader. Using a stencil mask shader with a stencil object shader, we can make a 3D object to render only if it's behind another one. Explaining how a stencil shader works will need a whole video, but if you are interested in learning more about it, you can have a look at this article by Ari Alizavakis, the link will be in the description. Anyway, in our case, we will download these two shaders and put them in our project. A download link for this shader will be also in the description. And here is where the fun begins. I will click on our painting frame and you can see that this 3D object has two materials, one for the frame and one for the painting. I will go under the painting material and change the shader to stencil mask. This way, the, sh the interior of the painting will serve as a mask. Finally, we can go inside our night game object and search for the meshes. There, we can change the shader's material from standard to stencil object and repeat this process for all the clothes and the weapon of the knight. And here we go. Now the knight only appears behind the painting frame. The only thing that is left to do is to play the knight and the painting frame in the correct position according to the image target. Once the position is good, we can select both the painting and the knight and make them as a child of the image target, so that they will both appear when the image is targeted. Oh, and little thing that I've done here is to add a plane behind the knight and set its shader to stencil object. And now everything is set. You can either click on play here to test your application if you have a webcam or you can build it directly to your phone. But be careful to add the scene that we created at the start of the video in the build settings. 
And here we have it, a beautiful 3D model that seems almost there behind our walls. Amazing, right? And I hope that you enjoyed this little bonus video. If you want to see more augmented reality content, leave a like below and don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next video.